Hey guys, welcome back to the COP TV. I hope you're doing well. Um, bit of a, a sad time for me. My granddad passed away at the weekend, which meant I wasn't um, able to go on Hot Copics on Monday. But having said that, I hope you can go back to the episode of Scouse GK and Doyle. It was a fantastic episode, so please go ahead and watch that if you can. But first and foremost, this episode today is brought to you by the one, the only Surfshark, right? Surfshark can bounce your location over 100 locations in the world you can choose from. So that means the next time you're abroad, much like myself next month when I go away during the international break, I'll be using Surfshark. Super easy to log in. We've got a little deal for you as well, right? Four months for free if you use the code in the top right of the screen now, COP TV. Super simple, right? If you're abroad, you want to watch football matches, your favorite TV shows, connect to your country on the Surfshark app, with ease and you'll be able to watch the games your favorite streaming sites your favorite tv shows for example i'm very much into raymond um winston's uh, sicily trip at the minute on netflix so that's what i'll be watching when i go abroad using surfshark and guess what it doesn't just stop there we're offering you free four months with the cop tv and right if you're not happy within 30 days you will get your money back. It's never happened, but we're offering you that still. So people, try out the 30-day uh, money-back guarantee using the link in the description right now. Don't forget the code is COPTV. Very simple. Um, and it's on the screen now. And again, your, your, your surfing is super safe with Surfshark. Everything is under lock and key. Not only that, you can connect to whichever country in the world you like and watch shows from that country. Perfect for traveling. It's the best companion you can have. And the best thing about it is the safety. So make sure you use Surfshark code COPTV in the description below. You can't go wrong whatsoever. Right, people, um, not great news, if I'm honest with you. Harvey Elliott looks like he's been injured and he's aggravated a foot injury on the international break with the under-21s with England. That was broke this morning by Paul Joyce of The Times. Um, he went on to say that Harvey Elliott expected to be out until late October. So we're now looking at potentially four to six to eight weeks for, for young Harvey. Um, gutted for him, to be honest, because ended the season so well, had such a good preseason as well. This was really what I was thinking was going to be his season. Um, he won't be able uh, to play for Liverpool until at least the end of the next international break. Um you know, gutting news, gutting news. I mean, we didn't buy another midfielder. We're now going to have to pray and hope that none of the other midfielder um, get injured. Um, Curtis Jones has obviously been injured this season. Good news is on him. He's looking to come back for the Forest game at the weekend. But yeah, um, Harvey Elliott aggravated an existing issue whilst away with England under-21s this month. He's now returned to Merseyside and underwent further assessments at the AXA Training Centre last week so what does that mean it means we're a bit lighter you know if you look ahead to the next few games that Liverpool have um, you know he probably would have had some involvement in the Forest game at the weekend uh, he definitely would have come on or if not started against Milan on Tuesday Bournemouth at home you would have think he would have uh, played a part in that and then especially this one West Ham in the cup um, next Wednesday the 25th or sorry a week on two weeks on Wednesday, um, he definitely would have had a part to play in that. And then Wolves away. You know, he, he loves Wolves away, doesn't he? He scored two for Liverpool at Wolves away in the league and the cup. So, and then Bologna straight after that, before it does um, go into that next international break. Uh, so after the Bologna game, there is a game away at Palace and then again, a two-week break. Uh, and you're looking at potentially Chelsea at home. Could be the next time that we see Harvey again straight after that. It's Leipzig away. So a really tough schedule this for Liverpool. And as soon as you hit um, the end of October, it's Arsenal away. It's Brighton at home. It's Leverkusen at home. It's Villa at home. Southampton away. Real Madrid at home. Man City away. So hopefully he's back and he's ready for those uh, really difficult fixtures that Liverpool seem to have piled up um, across the October and, uh, and November schedule. So... Let us know in the chat, right? Let us know in the chat. How do you feel about Harvey Elliott um, getting injured again? Was it necessary? The under-21s obviously love Harvey Elliott. He loves playing for them whilst he can't get a sniff in the England team, which I am going to make a case for him um, because, you know, you look at the likes of Angel Gomez, right, who 
was almost forgotten about. Um, Lee Carsey brought him into the squad. If he's getting into the squad over Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, there must be something wrong. So as things stand, you know, Harvey is a t England under-21 player. As I said, he loves going away and playing for his country. But at the same time, it's an aggravation. It could have been avoided. Um, and that's a big miss for Liverpool. Depth, quality, off the bench to start. Harvey does really have it all. And still for someone who's so young, he's only 21, Harvey Elliott. We're just hoping that this uh, injury is dealt with sooner rather than later and he gets back um, because, again, you know, a foot injury like that it can have complications. It can have, um, you know, uh, issues later on down the line. So we are hoping that, one, this injury um, gets dealt with as soon as possible, but also the fact that Harvey in himself is going to be gutted to, to be injured in such a crucial part of the season, knowing he started uh, the preseason so well. You know, he, he ended the, the last season in the league super uh, well as well. So it's a difficult one to take this. Um, and again, you look at Arsenal, uh, Calafiori, you look at Manchester United, Lenny Euro. You know, these players shouldn't be playing in these games. Lenny Euro, I know it's pre-season, but, you know, for him to be out for so long, United will be kicking themselves about playing him. And I do feel the same for Harvey. I do think, you know, it could have been avoided, but apparently it was in training as well. So maybe it couldn't have been. But again, let us know how big a miss is this for Liverpool now that Harvey Elliott is looking injured for at least the next month, if not further. I'm absolutely gutted for him. Uh, and realistically, it does leave us short in the midfield department with so many league and cup games coming up. So Harvey... Bro, we're with you. Um, and hopefully this this gets sorted and you're back on the pitch where you belong as soon as possible. Just on England, before we move on to the Mbappe uh, news that broke this morning about how he might have joined Liverpool in the past. I find it really difficult to accept the England fans, the out-and-out -out England fans' um, appraisal of Trent. I mean... To, to actually go out and say that he shouldn't have been starting over Trippier and Walker now is just wild to me. And I've just tweeted it and I'll say it to you guys. England fans, and you know by now that I'm not an England fan, England fans um, don't deserve Trent, if I'm honest with you. We've been saying this for years. He's the youngest player to have started in three Champions League finals in English history of all time. He's won every trophy there is to win. He's created the most chances under Lee Carsley in the last two games with five or six, which is more than Grealish, Foden, Kane combined, by the way. And some of the passes we saw against Ireland were a joke. I mean, I did watch the game last night to see how he got on. Clear favourite and clear man of the match for me. That's two in a row. And only now it seems like everyone else is cottoning on to how good he is. But we've been saying it for years. So I don't know if you agree, if you disagree, let us know in the chat. But at the minute, England fans don't deserve to have Trent because of all the slander that they've given him in the past few years. And only now are they realising just how good he is. This is something Liverpool fans have been saying for the last seven years since he's been playing for Liverpool or six years. So um, buzzing for him that he's picked up another man of the match. Buzzing for him that people are now you know, realising his quality. But the press, how they demonised him to be this awful defender... And big up to Lee Carlsley. I will have to say that. Big up to Lee Carlsley for telling the players to go out and express yourself. And that's just what Trent's doing. You know, people can still say, oh, we'll see how he gets on against the France and, and the Spains and, and the Italys. I mean, this guy can play against anyone. You do not play in three Champions League finals at that age without knowing how to come up against the Mbappes, etc., etc. So I am going to call it out. It's been, it's been really nasty some of the criticism that Trent has had in the last few years but now we're finally seeing people's heads turn and realize what we've realized all this time so let me know your thoughts on Trent's form for England um the standout candidate for right back at this stage um and he seems to enjoy, uh, be enjoying it and if he's enjoying it then then we're happy for him so big up to Trent we knew his quality all along but it only seems like now people are actually starting to realize you know, just the quality of the lad and how good he is, especially going forward as well. Um, right, moving on to our next uh, thing, just before we get into the Mbappe story, guys, we have another partner on this video and this time it's Football Prizes. Let me show you exactly 
how football prizes work. It's super simple, guys. Um, there was a prize up for grabs yesterday. The competition ended. There was a lucky winner of the Liverpool Real Madrid hospitality seats for less than three pounds, people. Someone won it. And the next prize is fantastic as well. And you could be the next lucky, lucky winner. So as you can see here, right, there's a new competition on footballprizes.co.uk. And this one is an absolute Belter. It's the Istanbul squad signed Liverpool shirt. Plus, if you don't win that, there are another 23 instant win prizes, right? There are a thousand tickets up for grabs. As you can see, guys, 203 already sold for this one. 796 still available. We've got... Um, uh, a week to go until this one runs out, a week and six days. So there is some time for this one, guys. But make sure you buy the tickets before they run out. As you can see, a signed shirt signed by Gerard, Cisse, Benitez, Carragher, Risa, Alonso, Garcia, Smitsa, Hupia, Finn and Harry Kuhl, Milan Barros, Jersey Dudek, Igor Bishkan, the most important one, um, Jimmy Traore, and also Scott Carson, uh, not... Darwin Nunez, but Antonio Nunez and Josemi, right? It's the full squad. And as I said, if you don't win that ticket, there are 23 other tickets up for grabs as well. So please, guys, the competition ends on the 24th of September at half seven. So there is still time. And of course, all signed products do come with that all important certificate of authentication as well. So absolute legit stuff that we could be winning here, guys. I'm going to enter myself. It's only $2.99. If you would like to enter this prize, then please get involved. The link is in the description. You can't go wrong. And some lucky red, right, is going to win this one day. Um, just like a lucky red won last night, hospitality seats for Liverpool versus Real Madrid in the Champions League for less than three pounds. Football prizes have been fantastic in the last couple of weeks. They've really um, allowed us to, to give you guys the opportunities to go out there and win these incredible prizes. So guys, one more time, if you want to get involved, the link is in the description. So please do that. And you will be going home if you enter and you're lucky with an absolute one of one, unbelievably rare football shirt, right? Even Steve at the Red Men, he's he's on a mission right now, isn't he? To get everyone sign, to get everyone who played in Istanbul to sign his shirt. He hasn't completed it, but football prizes have. So if you'd like to win it, please for three pounds, less than three pounds, less than you'd spend on a cup of tea, a flat white, a latte, right? The links in the description, and some person will be going home with that. Make sure it's you, right? Moving on, right. Very strange news this morning, breaking on Le Keep. Uh, they revealed that in 2022, Kylian Mbappe uh, allegedly requested to leave PSG and had reportedly agreed a move to Liverpool. Right? I mean, we were all talking about it at the time. You know, it was a very far out transfer that I don't think we had the money for at the time. But the agreement would have included a clause giving him the option to move to Madrid at a later time. Some sources claim Liverpool made a verbal offer. Others dispute that any formal offer was made. So Liverpool must have gone to him in 2022 and said, look, we'll have you, right? And there is a clause in your contract for you to go to Real Madrid after that. So how close were we? I guess we'll never know. And if I ever meet Kylian Mbappe, I will ask him, was Liverpool ever up there in your priority list in terms of when you were leaving PSG? We all know, right? It's no secret that he was a big Real Madrid fan you know he grew up with Ronaldo pictures on the wall if he came to Liverpool who knows what would have happened you know the 22-23 season was mixed of course we um, you know did well in the cups but apart from that in the league we weren't the best so would he have improved us is there an alternative universe where you know he still does have a soft spot for Liverpool and does come to us after Real Madrid I don't know I think we've missed the chance if I'm honest but a verbal offer was made and it looks like it was um, it was it was palmed off. And then obviously he's waited two more years and got his dream move to Real Madrid. So strange timing, really, for L'Equipe to have actually brought that up. I mean, you know, we're two years and, and a bit further on now. This would have been before the World Cup as well in, in a time when him and PSG were really going head to head in the boardroom level. Um, but I was always, you know, I was always hopeful that 
he wouldn't he would listen i don't think he was ever going to come to liverpool but i always was hopeful of the fact that if it wasn't real madrid we would have been second choice and how many times trent shabby alonso you know they all want to go to real madrid don't they so even the scousers steve McManaman, i met him last week and even he went so it seems like whoever we have our eye on at that elite level they want to go to Real Madrid. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is in football. They are the biggest club in the world. We're the most successful team in England. You would like to think that because his mum supports Liverpool, he'd have a little soft spot. It would have been him and Klopp working together. But I'm only talking about it today because it got brought up by L'Equipe. So listen, it's not going to happen now. We know he's settled at Real Madrid, but it would have been a nice thought. I mean, the verbal offer is great. It would have been even better to have seen a, a real go for Mbappe at the time. Um, the price that I heard of this morning was 168 million. I mean, we would have really had to break it, the structure, break the wage bill, break the bank to get Mbappe in the door for that price at the time when we weren't really spending too much money at all. So listen, we can all make verbal offers, you know, Someone on Twitter tweeted back saying, I made a verbal offer to Rihanna. She never replied. I get it, right? It's a long shot. But at least we were in the conversation. Um, but like I said, one day, if I ever meet Kylian Mbappe, I'd like to ask him, how close were you moving to Liverpool? Just to give us that bit of closure. But again, this isn't me saying we were close to getting him. This isn't me saying we're still going to get him. It's just an interesting piece of news that came up and I thought I'd discuss it with you guys. So guys, please make sure um, you like the video. We're going to be back in the studio in London tomorrow to give you a thorough match preview between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Of course, we'll have uh, fan cams from outside the ground as well as we come out of one international break and next month we go back into another one. But just to remind you, this video has been supported today by Surfshark. Again, Cop TV is the code that can um, give you a four months for free plus your 30-day money-back guarantee as well. So if you'd like to be super secure, if you're traveling, if you want to stream your favorite games, if you're abroad, you want to see your own uh, TV shows and movies, you can with Surfshark with ease. It bounces your location to over 100 spots in the world. And with ease, you can do whatever you want to do on the internet. And of course, big up to our other sponsors for this video, Football Prizes. I've left the link for the latest competition in the description and you can't go wrong for the price, right? Tickets are running out, so make sure you jump in quickly and reserve your ticket and then the raffle is made on the 24th. But guys, listen, um, quick video today. Harvey Elliott injured. You know, Trent is doing incredible things for England as we knew he always would. Now everyone else is seeing it but we've been seeing it for years. So please like the video. Let's get your comments. Let's start a bit of a conversation on the topics that I've mentioned in the chat. And again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're this close to 46K. Get us there. We get to 50 and we can all have a party. Take care.